Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can generate a scatter plot uh, with a reference line using R, specifically R Studio. A reference line in this case simply means a line on a scatter plot where x equals y. So the uh, packages I have installed by default are the ones that come with R Studio. And uh, I'll be needing some example data, so let's load that in as well. I'll show you the data, it's simply before and after, and people scored something before and then after. Um, the plot itself can be done just with plot, and then the two variables that you want to compare, first the x, then the y, and you can also label the axis immediately. That gives a slightly nice scatter plot already. Uh, you can zoom in, and then it looks like this. Then the second thing you might want to do is um, you might want to have the origin actually. So in this case, uh, I think it's already, it starts at zero and this one seems to start also at zero. So in this case, it's not necessary, but sometimes you have uh, that the origin is not shown. So if you want to force the use of the origin, uh, use the exact same things, but then use X limit and then uh, C and then zero comma. So it actually has the origin and then the maximum uh, of the before and then the y limit the same starting at zero and then the uh, my data uh, after the maximum and also add that you want to remove any missing values otherwise max does not work uh, another thing is if it's in uh, if you have a lot of negative numbers and the origin is not showing you don't have positive numbers then you might want to uh, change this to minimum and then use that as the first argument and then comma zero uh, I'll just gonna load this in and then you actually want to also add that reference line which simply can be done by s stating app line and then the coefficients uh, c of 0 and 1. You can also use a equals 0 and b equals 0. It does the same thing. Control enter and as you can see it now added the line on top of the uh, diagram. Zoom in. So this is my reference line. So anything above it means that uh, after scored higher. Anything below it means that uh, before actually scored higher. So this is useful to see if there were a lot of people who scored higher on after than on before or the other way around. And it seems in this case, looking at the reference line, that there are a lot more above this line than below. Okay, but of course you can test for that and there are separate videos on doing uh, official tests for this. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.